Hello, welcome to Postcolonial Space. I'm Masood Raja. And this brief video is sort of an addendum to my series on Paulo Freire's Pedagogy of the Oppressed, because I thought I should build up on not just the reading and a bit of an explanation of what we are doing, but also certain people that he cites and what possible influences are there on his work. And one of the biggest influences, of course, is from Eric Fromm. And there are some of the citations already in chapter one and two that we have dealt with. Uh, for example, there is a quotation about the fear of freedom, right? And that is a direct quote from Eric Fromm's uh, one of his earliest and one of his most popular books, which is called Fear of Freedom, but also Escape from Freedom. The book has two titles. And that most of the work, at least in pedagogy of the oppressed, relies in one way or the other on Eric Fromm's work on the psyche itself. Right now, as we read further, we'll encounter the terms uh, like necrophilia or biophilia, right? But most importantly, the construction of the human psyche itself. So now Fromm uh, was affiliated with the Frankfurt School of Critical Theory, but also was one of the early neo-Freudians, right, with, with Karen Horney and a few others. These are the people who, instead of theorizing the human psyche, simply in terms of drives and instincts are the ones who theorize and put into practice what is called political psychology or social psychology, especially uh, Karen Horney was probably the most prominent figure in that. So Fromm comes from that school. And hence the vocabularies that uh, Freire is using, this whole idea of a psyche you know, when he talks about the oppressor consciousness and the oppressed consciousness and how when the oppressed exist in a certain system, right, they internalize the logic of it. All of that explanation will not be possible without Eric Fromm's work, right? So uh, just keep that in mind. You know, I, in my lectures, I mentioned that his idea of, of, uh, of humanity is a slightly romantic, romantic in a sense that he does imagine a human self, right, to which one must be reconciled. But the way that human subjectivity is imagined in theoretical terms and psychological terms draws from the work of Eric Fromm and within that from the works of the neo-Freudians, especially Eric Fromm's concepts of what are the biggest human needs, right? And the need to stabilize an identity, but that stabilization comes through the social, right? Through recognition. So these are some of the needs that from um, articulates in his books and in his work. And that is the vocabulary that Freire is employing in his book, because the entire project relies on that. If you think of the beginning pages of the book is that we exist in a world in which the system dehumanizes certain people and the struggle for existence then is to claim our humanity and the oppressed must claim that and in order to do that they must unravel the oppressive system itself. All of this is made possible, this argument, in this imagining of psyche which is constructed in the social and which is also dependent on the recognition from outside, right? So they, they, this is just my brief take on Fromm's influence on um, Freire's work. Uh, of course, there are other influences too, and there is a beautiful work book that I have not yet read. I will put the link to that book in the description, and it's called Paulo Freire's Intellectual Roots Toward Historicity in Praxis by Robert Lake and Tricia Kress. And that is the book that discusses Fromm's influence on Freire's work, but also 
other intellectuals like Lukacs and others. And the book also p uh, provides, provides uh, information about the inconsistencies in Freire's own argument. So that would be a good book to read. If I have some time in the future, I will probably record a separate lecture on Eric Fromm and the third fourth psychology of Karen Horney and uh, Eric Fromm and others. But I thought I should uh, add this addendum to our series on um, Paulo Freire. I hope it is useful. Uh, if you want to learn more about Fromm, of course, there's a good Wikipedia entry on it, and you can see his life's work and, you know, uh, things about his life. I will post links below to some of his major works, and please find some time to read them. But that is all I have to add to our series on Paulo Freire. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.